The year is 2015. This is Masato Bonchan Takahashi. In the past two years, Bonchan has turned himself into one of the international stars of Street Fighter. Elevating himself from a 17th place finish at his first ever international tournament, EVO 2013, to second place at the event's 2014 edition, falling only to France's king of Street Fighter, Luffy. Later that year, he would take second at Japan's biggest event of the year, Taito Arcade Nationals, cementing his position as one of the game's biggest rising stars. But here in Paris at Red Bull Kumite 2015, Bonchan is trying to prove that he can push himself even farther. He would avenge his loss to Luffy, the man who stopped him at EVO 2014. He would defeat the legendary Daigo Umihara, with Ryu no less. He would climb back from loser's bracket to a grand finals matchup with Takedo, a legend and then two-time EVO champion. But that certainly didn't scare Takedo, entering the set from winner's side, who came in with extreme confidence. What followed was an evisceration. Bonchan took down Takedo 3-1 in the first set of grand finals to reset the bracket and did it again to seal the deal after the bracket reset. Despite the speed and power of Akuma and Tokido's impossibly precise play, Bonchan was all over him, imposing his will with a combination of brick wall defense and an explosive punish game. Mr. Second Place No More, Bonchan finally had the big tournament win that had evaded him for years. With the announcement of Street Fighter V on the horizon, few look better poised to dominate Street Fighter's new era than Bonchan. He had a solid start to his Street Fighter V career, using Nash to pick up a bunch of top 8 placements throughout Season 1. But by the time 2019 rolled around, Bonchan would have killed to be Mr. Second Place. As Street Fighter V's fourth season was approaching its halfway point, Saigon Cup in May 2017, all the way back in Season 2, marked Bonchan's last win. Part of a three-tournament in three-week winning streak that gave the world a taste of Bonchan at his peak power. In 19 major tournaments since, Bonchan had made top two just once, at Brussels Challenge 2018, where he was stuffed in grand finals once again by Luffy. But look, Bonchan isn't the only player who struggled with inconsistency in the Street Fighter V era. It's a game that has had its share of great players, but no one player has ever been able to claim dominance over its competitive scene. Entering the fourth season of Capcom Cup, the biggest summer events of the Capcom Pro Tour season, Community Effort Orlando, aka CEO, and the Evolution Championship Series, aka Evo, had never seen a repeat winner. One might think that a win at CEO would be a sign of future success. Instead, just one of the three CEO winners even made top eight at the subsequent Evo. In 2016, Tokido claimed the CEO title and finished 13th at EVO. In 2017, Snake Eyes of the United States was CEO champion and only managed a 65th finish at EVO. And in 2018, Fujimura claimed the CEO title and was able to finish in 5th place at EVO a few months later. To find the last time the double was achieved, you have to reach back into the annals of Street Fighter 4 history all the way back to 2013 when Singapore's Sien won both CEO 2013 and EVO 2013 where Bonchan was making his first international appearance to fully establish his presence as one of the greatest Street Fighter players in the world. The Saigon Cup win would be Bonchan's final victory with Nash, his original Street Fighter V character. The season 2.5 changes at the end of May 2017 didn't do enough to revert the laundry list of nerfs that season 2 brought for Nash the previous winter to leave Bonchan a believer in the character's long-term stock. In fact, the main reason Bonchan was playing Nash in the first place is that Sagat had yet to be added to the new edition. 
Thanks to Nash, Bonchan didn't miss Sagat too badly at first, but after the Season 2 updates, with Nash shelved and Sagat still in development, not to be released for Street Fighter V until 2018 Season 3, Bonchan had to find a new character. The second half of 2017 brought some clarity, in part due to the success of a young American flashing some shocking new techniques. In Season 2, Punk was far and away the best player over the grind of the year-long Capcom Pro Tour, outrunning second place Takedo by nearly a thousand points and compiling seven first place finishes, including a win at the North American Regional Finals. Even after Sagat's release in 2018, Bonchan kept playing Karin, inspired in part by what Punk continually proved to be possible. Punk won five of his first eight tournaments to open 2019's fourth season of Street Fighter V, and even as Bonchan got out to a slow start at some of those very same events, Punk's successes were enough to convince Bonchan to stick with Karin, even as his Sagat became a strong secondary option. Soon enough, Bonchan would get his. At Versus Masters 2019 in Singapore in April, Bonchan won his first tournament in nearly two years, picking up two wins over Sien in the process. It had been nearly two years since he picked up Karin, a character long considered to be one of Street Fighter V's strongest. Bonchan talked about his journey with the character on a Topanga TV segment. Yeah, that character, referring to Karin, you need to play her in tournaments to get better. I started playing Karin in Season 2, Bonchan said. At first, when I saw my matches in tournaments, I couldn't believe it. I was like, how am I making this many mistakes? The Street Fighter world was about to get a taste of what Bonchan could do with two years of tournament experience under his belt. Bonchan's bracket at CEO was full of his demons. To open top 8, Bonchan faced off against his Red Bull teammate and fighting game legend Daigo Umehara. Daigo was 4-0 on Bonchan to this point in Street Fighter V, including wins at the 2017 and 2018 Red Bull Kumites, the two times Daigo had faced off against Bonchan's Karim. Bonchan dropped all of one round in a vicious 3-0 win over Daigo, and the punishes he was securing against one of the world's most rock-solid players were enough to tell you he was feeling it on this day. Machabo, Bonchan's winner's finals opponent, was Bonchan's newest bracket demon. A Guilty Gear Evo champ, Machabo swiftly took to Street Fighter V despite playing sparsely prior to 2019. At Battle Arena Melbourne, Machabo denied Bonchan's play for the trophy, taking two of three sets between winners and grand finals. Then Machabo delivered Bonchan an early loss at Combo Breaker, the unofficial start of every summer of Street Fighter. You'd never know it from their winner's final set though, Bonchan had Machabo on a string, using every movement option in his arsenal en route to a 3-1 destruction of the world's greatest Nakali at the time. Bonchan looked like he could see the future. He used just about every single movement option to set up his punishes. Forward dash, the back dash, neutral jump, and EX Tenko. That win earned him a meeting with Fujimura in Grand Finals, another difficult matchup. In four meetings since Bonchan switched to Karin, Fujimura held a 3-1 lead in the set count. Fujimura would make that 4-1 with a last hit nail biter to reset the bracket. And he looked poised to become the first repeat Street Fighter V champion of CEO. Instead, Bonchan turned it on. CEO 2019 was by far his biggest tournament win since Tokido jokingly dubbed him Mr. Second Place at Red Bull Kumite 2015. Of his four previous Capcom Pro Tour wins, only one, Battle Arena Melbourne in 2017, was also a premier level event. But BAM9 had just over a third 
of the players that CEO 2019 did, and completely lacked the top-level North American presence. CEO, on the other hand, is one of those majors that the world's elite all mark on their calendars. The next month brought another premiere, Versus Fighting 2019, the biggest event of the year in the British FGC. Bonchan took down one of England's best players in Infectious to open up top eight, but was put in loser's side by his fellow Karin Punk. After another win over Machabo, Bonchan was back in grand finals for the rematch against Punk. There was room for hope. Bonchan had won their previous meeting back at SoCal Regionals 2018, and with Punk running the first half of season four with Karin, Bonchan had been studying up. He started to latch onto Punk's timing, finding dash up counter hits one after another to force the bracket reset. Is Bonchan going to be the first person this year to beat Punk twice in grand finals? Bonchan carried all the momentum into the second set, but Punk made a spirited comeback, forcing the fifth and deciding game and earning a tournament point. How close was Bonchan to losing? Bonchan was ready for the overhead, found the punish, and went on to win the third and final round to take his second premiere in a row. Okay, so maybe it's time to believe. Tokido finished 17th at G League in 2016 between his CEO win and 13th place finish at EVO. Fujimura took second at Versus Fighting 2018 between his CEO win and 5th place at EVO finish. Snake Eyes didn't even enter anything major between his CEO win and EVO 2017 and he finished 65th. Nobody had taken a two tournament win streak into EVO like Bonchan had. But surviving EVO is a different feat entirely. At 440 players, CEO 2019 was a big tournament. According to Liquipedia, it was the fifth largest by entrance of 2019 for Street Fighter V. EVO nearly quintupled that entrant count, landing at 1,951 nearly doubling the count of the second largest event that year, EVO Japan, with 1,024. Bonchan faced a scare in pools from Momochi, squeaking by 2-1, but qualified for top eight through winner's side. Between him and the most historic summer of Street Fighter in over half a decade stood three of Street Fighter's new guard, Idom, Infectious, and Big Bird. Bonchan's ability to use movement, the various punishes against Machabo, the dash-up counter hits against Punk, powered his winning streak to this point. He would need to be able to keep finding these punishes on Championship Sunday to have any chance of extending his streak to three tournaments and completing the historic CEO EVO double dip. After dropping the first game with his Sagat, Bonchan went back to Karin. Down a round and a game, Bonchan needed a strong opening to the second round of game two. Laura, particularly piloted by Idom, is a terrifying character with momentum. But this backdash here would set the tone for the rest of the set. In terms of Street Fighter V, this isn't huge damage, but this punish would open the floodgates as Bonchan would win the next six rounds straight from that point. Punishes off movement like the backdash would be responsible for finishing three of those six rounds and the damage off those openings would clear nearly two full life bars worth of Idom's health. Bonchan had a tremendous ability to sniff out every time Idom wanted to move, whether it was to retreat to make some space and send out a fireball, or a dash in to try and get her vicious throw game going. Against Infectious and his Zeku, that kind of zipping around the screen wouldn't be an option. Old Zeku's Bushingram Koku, a massive projectile that follows the sweep of his kick, is just about the best move in the game at stuffing the kind of movement that Bonchan and his Karin excel at. This was exactly the moment his Sagat was waiting for. Yes, it had just been sent back to the pocket by Idom in the previous round, but Sagat had a fireball that Zeku would be forced to respect. Even with the much clunkier Sagat, those fireballs would provide just the openings Bonchan needed to get things moving. 
Infectious' defenses proved difficult to crack, but Bonchan stood firmer, grinding out two round wins in the first game, closing out the second round on low health with an incredible sequence of footsies leading into the super. Wow! Is this wow. gonna kill? No. Oh, yes. the savagery! So savage, he did the same threat. As the set progressed, Bonchan started to sniff out Infectious' movement. He won the second round of game two by stuffing Infectious' dash in with a dash of his own, and then in round three, the one time all set he was faced with Young Zeku, he baited out a slide with a neutral jump to find the stun to win the game and pick up the 2-0 lead. Bonchan would clean it up in the fourth game, finding yet more punishes off the neutral jump and even some Karen-esque dash-up counter hits to advance to grand finals. Big Bird, the Middle East's top Street Fighter player, was Bonchan's final opponent, having dispatched Machobo, Fujimura and Infectious on his rampage through loser's bracket. Big Bird played Rashid, one of the most effective rushdown characters in the game. The kind of character that can put you in the corner in the blink of an eye and keep you there forever. Riding his loser's bracket momentum, Big Bird went up 2-0, winning four of the first five rounds and rattling off perfects and near perfects like it was nothing. After clawing his way back to win game three, Bonchan started game four off hot, taking the first round off another backdash to force a whiff punish. Despite finding himself on a magic pixel to start the final round of the set, Big Bird didn't blink, finding a combo into critical art to set up a next guess win situation. Let me revive. Bonchan spent not just his whole tournament, but this whole summer sniffing out his opponent's next movement options. And he wasn't about to stop here as he reads Big Bird's Eagle Spike out of the V-Trigger with a perfectly placed jump back for the whiff punish to take the tournament. He won CEO, he won BS Fighting, and now Evolution. He is on the record books. He is an Evolution champion. In the end, Bonchan took down 19 health bars in the rounds, which he won in the top eight at EVO 2018. Of those 19, over four full life bars worth of damage can be attributed to Bonchan's whiff punishes and counter hits off his dashes and jumps, some of the hardest movement tools to use effectively against the footsies played at this highest level. Bonchan was able to make his opponents, some of the best players in the world, second guess against his dashes forward, and he was able to shut down their attempts to encroach on his space. The reward was the EVO title for which he had been searching ever since he had fallen short to Luffy five years earlier, and the unmatched accomplishment of taking home the CEO belt and the EVO trophy in the same summer. Bonchan would go on to win yet another premiere to close August, Ireland's Celtic Throwdown, giving him a fourth consecutive victory in CPT play, something the ever-volatile Capcom Pro Tour hadn't seen in over three years of Street Fighter V. Tokido had a six-tournament streak of top two finishes in 2018, beginning with his second-place finish at EVO and finishing with a victory at Canada Cup, but he never won more than two CPT tournaments in a row. Punk had a 10 tournament streak of top two finishes in 2017, but had his peak win streak of three snapped by Snake Eyes and his explosive Zangief at CEO. This was just one of three times in which Punk won three tournaments in a row, but he was always stymied on the fourth try. In 2016, Knuckledoo's three tournament win streak culminated with his win at Street Fighter V's inaugural Catcom Cup. Daigo had a three tournament streak back in Ryu's season one glory days, winning three tournaments in three different countries between August and September of 2016. Problem X did it twice, once in 2017 and once in 2018, the latter of which, like Bonchan's, included both Evo and Celtic Throwdown. Only once has Bonchan's four win streak been matched in Street Fighter V, and again, we have to go back to the game's first season. Justin Wong's streak included some big tournaments, and Combo Breaker is one of the most prestigious events on the American FGC calendar. But none of the events Wong had the international presence of CEO or EVO, or even versus fighting, which had heavy attendance from both Europe and Japan's finest. 
Every single player Bonchan beat was ranked on pgstats.com's ranking of the 50 greatest Street Fighter players of all time, the PGRSF, with all but two, Dogara and Yusei, ranked in the top 25. Not only was Bonchan winning some of Street Fighter's most competitive events as part of his streak, he was beating some of its best players throughout all its history. Ultimately, Bonchan did not solve Street Fighter V. After his win in Ireland, he took his historic four-win streak back home to Japan and the CPT's Asia premiere at Tokyo Game Show. There, he was unceremoniously dumped from the bracket at 129th place by a pair of previously unknown players, Sakagami and Sigurros. Bonchan would go on to post a few excellent results before the end of the year, like a fourth place finish at the CPT North America Open in November, but he would bow out of Capcom Cup at 25th place going 0-2. If anything, though, this just shows how incredible an achievement the Summer of Bonchan really was. Street Fighter V is a game that resists dynasties and consistent success. And there he was, winning everything, including four premiere events and two of Street Fighter V's crown jewel tournaments for a whole summer. There are too many strong players and too many chances for something to go wrong in a double elimination bracket to maintain dominance for long. Bonchan himself admitted on his stream after the streak that he considered himself lucky for a few reasons, including that he managed to avoid a matchup with one of his regular sparring partners, Mago, whom Bonchan claimed had been giving him the hands in casual matches throughout the year. Some attributed it to his new marriage. Adorable, but Bonchan is far from the only married man on the CPT. And if great family moments led to Street Fighter dynasties, well, Sacco would have been unbeatable after this. In reality, there is no holy grail here, no magic key that allowed Bonchan to suddenly win everything. Bonchan is a great player who managed to catch lightning in a bottle for a month, played with an insane level of confidence and managed to avoid his worst demons in bracket. In theory, it could have been any of Street Fighter's greats, like Tokido or Punk or Knuckle Dew. But it wasn't. It was the summer of Bonchan. And for four glorious weeks, he was truly untouchable, as he put together a winning streak that deserves its own chapter in the Street Fighter history books. Not bad for the guy once called Mr. Second Place. Finally converts off of so many tournament points. 